everyone! Happy Halloween, guys! And welcome to my last Halloween special doll repaint project in 2020. Well, and for this last Halloween special project of the year, I decided to make the biggest villain in the media history. At least, like, to my opinion, because, you know, me personally, I can understand or forgive or at least let some space for forgiveness to all kinds of villains on TV. Because, you know, as an adult, you start to think in, like, oh, yeah, they're always both of the sides guilty. Anyway, guys, we don't know the complete story. Or something like, we don't know how this person was traumatized, maybe in his childhood or in some other life situation and stuff like this. And also, you know, the villains, they're always quite charismatic, very funny or very evil that they even look funny because of this. But if a woman wants to hurt a bunch of puppies, no, 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 <laughs> here we are done, really. Me personally, I have no space in my heart and in my soul to forgive someone who is going to hurt 101 puppies. Yes, of course, I'm talking about Cruella de Vil, and by the way, they're working right now on a new Cruella film, they're planning to release it in... 2021, I think, and Emma Stone is playing Cruella de Vil. So I think there is some sad story coming to make all of us cry about the hard life of young Cruella de Vil. I'm sure they're going to explain us why the girl has become so evil and all of us were supposed to, I don't know, kind of share her pain and understand her. But no, 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 it's not gonna work with me, guys. It's not gonna work with me. But anyway, I think Cruella de Vil is still a perfect Halloween character to make here on my channel because of course she's very charismatic she has a very unique style and the style is very like easily recognizable so it will be very interesting for me to try to make a Cruella de Vil doll here on my channel I've even bought here a huge piece of white fur this is an imitation fur of course and this is also imitation leather because you know it would be very funny if i was here sitting roasting Cruella de Vil while wearing the leather short it's a leather dress actually and uh, showing the huge piece of fur but this is an imitation fur obviously because today we are going to make oh, it's all flying here so today we're, because today we are going to make uh white fur mantle for our Cruella doll. So I think we should start working because I have extremely a lot of job to do and of course if you're the first time here on my channel please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course hit the like button because it really helps my channel to grow like this more people will be able to see my art. So guys and now I think we can start the transformation. So guys, for this project I will use the head of this doll because I think she has quite the right face shape with these high cheekbones. I don't know, I think with some help of soft pastels she has all chances to become an ideal Cruella doll. I see here probably a potential staining on her face. It looks like it's possibly a black marker here on her eyebrows. But I'm planning to paint her face white anyway, because Cruella has a very pale grayish skin tone, so I don't really care about the potential stains. But there is a bigger problem with her body, guys. First of all, she has these super loose legs. Here is just a regular old rubber keeping them together. This rubber went completely loose and it all just moves in different directions, really. It's a disaster. But as an addition to it, she also has two left hands. No, literally, two left hands. I can, of course, take a pair of hands from another doll, but I think I will just take a completely different body with normal legs and with two different hands and it will solve all my problems. 
So now I will remove her outfit. I will cut her hair very short. And then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to be able to disconnect it from the body and to melt the glue that is still keeping the rest of the short hair inside of the head. The next step is removing her makeup with pure acetone. And oh look, now all this potential staining is gone, so it wasn't permanent, super, and now we can continue on our project. And first of all, I want to sand her body with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from the surface. After this, I cover both the head and the body with a couple of layers of white acrylics. Then I spray the face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to make the surface completely matte. And after this we can start drawing the Cruella's face. And you know guys, I want to give her that crazy Cruella smile. I just don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I will just draw it as an illusion on top of this doll's lips. It will be for sure possible. Or maybe I still will reshape the lips later with a Dremel tool to remove all this extra rubber in between. I don't know yet, I will decide it later, it's quite a difficult decision. And for now I can draw the face with watercolor pencils and then I will start working on her skin tone using soft pastels. Cruella, like I said it already, is a very pale lady, so I will use very light gray pastels to create this very, very light grayish skin tone. Our doll will of course have the iconic green eyeshadows, they are quite an important part of Cruella's makeup. And I will have to layer pencils and pastels a little bit to get a really intense deep green color. And you know what, I also want to blend these green eyeshadows into the white skin using purple pastels. I think it will make her look extra evil, because green and purple, it's such an evil color combo, not normal guys, really the most evil color combo possible, green plus purple. So, meanwhile, I took the 102nd look at her lips. I'm looking at them already for two weeks, to be honest. 
And you know, I think that if I draw an illusion on top of her lips, it would look good just from one point, just from the front. And if you look at it from the side, you will still be able to see the volume of her lips and the illusion will be gone. So that's why after a very long doubt, I've decided finally to remove this volume between her lips using my Dremel tool. Of course, it's always better to do something like this before painting the surface. But I think I will be able to do it very, very carefully without damaging the rest of the face. So, and this is how it looks now, super, I'm very happy with the result and really no damage was made, there is no cracks, no scratches, nothing like this. So now I can paint the future teeth white, refresh the lips a little bit and then we will continue drawing. Okay, now I think I'm quite happy with the drawing and it means we can apply reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and then we will move on to blushing her body. So now the face and the body look almost finished, I will still add some details later in the end, but right now we can start working on her hair. I will use this black and white acrylic yarn to make her legendary black and white split hairdo. And I want to start like always with turning this yarn into hair. You probably already know the steps out of your head if this is not your first doll makeover on my channel, but let's go through it again. So first of all I cut the yarn into shorter pieces. Then I tie them to barbecue sticks. Then I make the yarn loose. And I brush it with my favorite cat brush. And then I can start cutting this hair off the sticks and attaching it to the doll's head using tacky glue.
And guys, check it out. This is where we've ended up and everything got completely dry. You know, I actually already love her hair like this. But I will still cut it a little bit and I will make the curls a little bit more textured. So, and here is the finished hairstyle. My goal was kind of to make her hair as crazy as her smile. And I think I have quite succeeded in it. And it means we can let the doll for a while and we will start working on her outfit and accessories. I think I want to start with the dress to warm up a little bit before making the mantle. And you can see I've cut out all the details for the dress out of a black leathered fabric. I just want to burn the sides of the fabric because it's a synthetic one. So the lighter will slightly melt the edges and they will not trim. It's a very handy trick that works just on certain kinds of fabric. So, and then I just connect all the details of the dress together. So guys, here is the dress, looks good, and now it's time to move on to the scariest part of the video, at least for me it's the most difficult part of the makeover, because now we will make a white mantle. I've cut out all the details out of this fantastic milk white imitation fur, and now we will connect all the details together.
When the upper coat is finished, I take red lining fabric and I make an exactly the same coat but in red. Because if you remember, the Cruella's mantle had that gorgeous red lining. It's quite a recognizable feature of her outfit. So here we go, let's make it. And then I connect the two coats together. In the end, I attach a collar to the mantle. And here, guys, is finally my finished coat. You cannot imagine, I was so scared even to start working on it. But right now, I think that my mom is gonna be actually very proud of me and of my sewing skills. Okay, now let's continue working with this imitation fur. And now we will make her handbag with three tails. Do you remember she had one in the movie? So first of all, I'm making a basic bag out of a piece of fur. And now I will make three fake tails out of straps of the same fabric. So here are our tails and now the bottom parts of them, approximately the bottom half, I will paint with black permanent marker. And then I will attach the tails to the back. After this, I take straps of light imitation leather and I attach them to the top of the back. Then I install four golden eyelets to the sides of it, to the sides of this leather and to the middle of it I will glue a rhinestone. And then I also attach a piece of golden chain to make a handle. And now I think our handbag is finished. It looks super adorable, really absolutely cute. I love her bag. I'm really a fan of it today. 
So now let's also make a cigarette in a long holder for our Cruella because of course this lady is a heavy smoker and the cigarette is a part of her image. It's a very recognizable accessory and I'm using a piece of white warbler thermoplastic to make it. And now I still want to customize this pair of Monster High shoes to complete the look and you can see it on the picture that Cruella wears red shoes that are quite classy but also a little bit old-fashioned. And I think that these Monster High shoes they have quite the same character, classy and a bit old-fashioned. So I just need to help them a little bit to make some adjustments and to paint them. Okay, here are the shoes. They look super stylish, I think. So now I think I've finished all the accessories. The outfit is also finished. And we can go back to her face for a second. First of all, I want to apply green multi-chrome paint to her eyelids to make her green eyeshadows even more wild. And then we will attach false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And you know, there is still one detail, guys. Cruella wears long red gloves. Unfortunately, there is no way for me to make gloves with fingers for those. I've tried here a little bit, but it looks super clumsy. I don't know, it will not work. So I think I will just paint her arms and hands with red acrylics to make it look like gloves. It will be like an imitation of gloves. And then we'll finally put everything together and we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and here is finally my biggest villain ever in a doll form. Say hello to Miss Cruella Deville. The project is complete and me as an artist, I'm very happy about her smile. 
It took me honestly quite a while to decide which strategy to choose, but it seems I've chosen the right one in the end, because her lips and her smile, they look absolutely amazing, nothing is wrong, it looks good from all sides, and this is very good, what else to say? Now I'm also looking forward to hear what my mom is gonna say about the outfit, but I'm quite sure that she will be proud of the mantle, because I wasn't sure myself if I would be able to pull it off. Because, you know, working with fur is much more difficult than sewing other kinds of fabric. And I was sitting here procrastinating probably for three days before I started working on it. Because I just, I don't know, I just kind of didn't dare to do it, didn't dare to start. But it wasn't that difficult after all, you know, it wasn't much more difficult to start. Actually, this is how it always goes with the procrastination. Well, her handbag is my personal favorite, it really looks like a mini copy of a real size handbag, but you know it, I really love working on shoes and bags, making these tiny accessories for my dolls, this is one of my favorite steps. And all in all, I really like the character of the doll, because I really think that she has that Cruella's vibe 100%. So guys, and what do you think about this project today? What did you like? What would you make different? I don't know. And also, by the way, who was your favorite Halloween special doll this year? We have Miss Pennywise, a cyber nurse, or Miss Cruella de Vil. So please let your votes in the comments under this video. And this doll is now for sale on eBay for three days. So you can go and check it out if you need a mini Cruella in your life. The link you will find in the description box down below. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon in my next doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.